been coming up five years. I've never quite seen it like this. No view today and nobody else up here. Zero. Gotta put in the work when no one else is watching. That's when you hit your goals. You understand? Let's go, let's go. Back from the mountains, oh my my, hey hey hey. There goes the North Face, oh my my, the North Face Flight Vective Carbon Fiber Plate Trail Racing Shoe or Training. First carbon fiber plate trail shoe on the scene, maybe, arguably, you know, that there's a little bit of a debate in that department. There it is in bright yellow and in my size. And I'm realizing I just left that door open in the basement, still getting used to the new surroundings, everybody. And there's light coming in. Hold on, let me close this real quick. This is live and real, everybody. Oh my goodness. So, um, North Face, thank you for your patience. They sent me a half size up about five months ago. And I ran in it and it was no good. I can't eat, I don't even, so thank you for your patience, North Face. They sent me another pair in my size so, so much better. It's like, I couldn't even score, I couldn't even give it a score uh, in a half size up. So bottom line, there it is, the North Face Flight Vective. Yes, a carbon fiber plate in that midsole. I'm just kind of curious. Yeah, wow. Pretty stout, pretty stout through that carbon fiber plate. Let's dive in. Here we go, 32 miles in the North Face shoe. So we are looking at a full review for a trail shoe here in the basement. Six millimeter drop from heel to toe. 25 in the heel, 19 in the forefoot. All right, soak that in real quick. Women's size eight, men's size nine on your screen. I think we're looking at 9.1 ounces. Eh, not so good. We gotta work on it, North Face. I mean, I think, just say right now, this is a huge step forward for the North Face, but anything for a racing shoe over, I'm just gonna say eight ounces. So this is like not in the right department with respect to weight for a racing shoe. But I know a lot of the people that are racing this shoe are using it for long races, but even for a long race, there's no reason to run in a heavy shoe for a hundred mile race. You know what I mean? So we got to work on that moving forward for the North Face Flight Vective V2 huh? in 2022. A lot of twos going on there. Looking at a matrix panel upper with Kevlar. Awesome. Breathability, great. Let's do the toe cap, pretty solid, okay? Love the overlay in the toe box. Kept all the grime and grit and water out, really nice there, but that Kevlar matrix, actually, like the Evo Speed Goat, okay? Stout, I mean, you're not gonna tear this. Kevlar, I don't know, you know the science behind it all, but it's just like, you, like I was kicking rocks, testing it in the Rocky Mountains, it's gonna go the distance, like this upper is just stout. I will say it's more of a booty style collar. Not saying I love that, but it is what it is. Booty style collar that wraps around your ankle. Nice <sighs> padding on the inside of the heel counter, the North Face. Thank you, thank you. Nailed it, nailed it. Awesome, great lockdown through that heel pocket. I love it, I love it. Let me get you the lockdown score. Um, now, even though I gotta say though, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm dialing in here, everybody. Even though the, the, I love the padding in the heel counter, um, I think I would prefer North Face. And this is why the lockdown score is, is low. Uh, I would prefer a little more padding over the, through the tongue. I felt the laces on top of my foot just a little bit, but uh, I would prefer a separated tongue. And the reason they're doing it is to help keep the rocks out, which I understand especially for a long trail race in the big mountains, in the Alps, or wherever you're at. Uh, but I just, oof, I don't know. I think the collar, the booty style collar, is impacting the lockdown score quite significantly for me. I'll be curious if, if who has picked this shoe up. How is the lockdown for you, especially around the collar of the shoe? But the overall score, um, seven out of 10, okay? So I think they're, again, good. I think the, the highlight of the uh, of the upper has to be the padding on the inside there we're looking at a rocker midsole with dual density high rebound foams slightly heavy firm firm ride firm durometer 
very firm, okay? Not giving at all. And I'm to, what else is it like? Almost like the Speed Cross 5 from Solomon. I mean, it's like, it's pretty firm. And for racing, I need forgiveness. I mean, uh, for 100, 100 mile, 50 mile, 50K, 20, even 25 mile, like I need a little, I need a little butter under my feet. I need a little, a little forgiveness. Come on. So we need to soften up that durometer score quite a bit. Let's do the, uh, it's a firm carbon fiber. I would almost, okay, I'm going to say maybe the shoe will open up after 100 miles of running in it, but it just feels like it's going to need a lot of break in time, like too much break in time. So anyway, that is driving down the ride and energy return to a 7.75 out of 10. The reason I did keep the score overall score higher, first of all, I am giving them credit for innovation um, in the sense that they're pushing the envelope forward. I don't know if, now I'm not racing 100 mile races, and if you are and you're racing in the shoe, let me know how it treated you, but I foresee a lot of carbon fiber plates in trail shoes in 2022. And the fact that the North Face kind of put themselves out there as the first, uh, I, I can respect that. And I think the midsole, again, I think it needs, it's going to need 100 miles to open up and to break in. So that is driving the durability of that midsole up. So if you, if you want a shoe that's going to go the distance, it could be an option. Like it's just, there's just no creasing at all. I mean, I'm taking it on some pretty serious trails here in Colorado. Okay, standard score for that outsole 7.5 out of 10, uh, three and a half millimeter lug depth on that outs. Pretty, I like it. I, it's gripping good. It's, you know, you know, if I was doing sky racing, I would not race in this shoe hood. Definitely not. Um, but it, you know, for really steep trails, I would want maybe one more millimeter lug depth. But overall, that outsole is pretty solid. Okay, fit. Now, I personally, for racing especially, we go a half size down. Just putting it out there. For training, I'd probably go true to size. But I, I was feeling a little loosey goosey. <laughs> And I frankly, okay, where's the North Face, you know, making these shoes or where are they, I don't know, where are they even based? Gosh, yeah, I would go a half size down for me personally. Six and a half out of 10 for that fit. Comfort score, 7.25 out of 10. Okay, positive is the fact that the, call, sorry, yeah, the, the padding on the inside of the heel counter, um, the drawback is the durometer score personally just need a little more forgiveness and for that durability prediction now i am coming from the mindset of racing versus training because that's what it's really intended for is 400 miles okay so i'm not approaching the shoe like i'm gonna be going out and training in it in it a ton um just because i mean you don't need to i personally don't think you need to train on the trails in a carbon fiber plate shoe just so you know and on to that price point 199 dollars five out of ten i'm just gonna leave it there like psh, i don't know that's a lot 199 it's just a lot you know read road marathon carbon fiber plate shoes the cheap ones are at around 200 it's like eh, i feel like sometimes you put carbon fiber in anything and you can charge more but the 199 is just a little too much for me, other shoes to buy, I personally would just buy the Hoka Evo Speed Goat. Or, you know, it's, yeah, Hoka Evo. Because the Pulsar from Solomon is shorter, faster stuff. Oh, love the shoe. Pikes Peak, anybody? But the Evo, I just buy the Evo Speed Goat, all right? Instead of this guy personally. Okay, North Face Flight Vective, quick specs on your screen. Soak it in. One more time, okay, full review score, a heartbreaker. Oh man, so close, so close. We tried North Face, we really did. I should say so close to the seven, 6.95 out of 10. Oh, um, but I will, I gotta give him credit. I gotta give North Face a little bit of credit for doing something different, challenging the market, trying the whole carbon game um i like the innovation but i just i think carbon fiber on the trails isn't as important i'll just say that and leave it there okay comment of the day question of the day here we go shout out to when the world sleeps we run which i believe is the vlog where i finished wrapping up the full review testing for the north face flight vective shout out to 
Brett Stevens. Brett, thank you for being a, not only a, a member of the channel. For those that don't know, Brett, he's just like a, you know those people in the community who are just involved and they make a difference and they are volunteering. He's just like at all the local 5Ks, 10Ks, pacing. That's where we first met. He was on a bike and I was in a 5K and he was pacing the 5K and he was you know, on the bike and I was chasing him the whole 5K through Wash Park here in Denver. So anyway, Brett, you get the comment of the day. Just a good guy. He says, on my 50th birthday, I started running around Wash Park in Denver at 12.01 a.m. See, this is the kind of guy he is. I ran 17 and a half laps for 50 miles. I didn't know that. That's crazy. My wife was there for entire run in support, but it's surreal running 50 miles in January in the middle of night while everyone else was sleeping. It didn't matter. Nobody else knew about my run because I knew that only myself got me to lose 175 pounds, escape the obesity trap and live to 50 years, which wasn't guaranteed. I couldn't have done it without my wife, but I had to make the daily decisions to keep turning the doorknob and get it done. Be tenacious and do the work done, DGR. Nobody is going to do it for you. Brett, I did not know. Wow, I didn't realize you had lost that much weight. Wow, Brett. Let's cheer for Brett down in the comment. That's what I'm talking about, Brett. Turning that doorknob. Okay, question of the day. Um, this is a deep, this could go deep. What question do you have that you don't have the answer for that you wish you had the answer for? All right, let me just say it again. What question would you most like the answer to? That's another way to say it. What question would you most like the answer to? That's the question of the day. Thanks for being here. North Face Flight Vective in the books. Five to six months coming, but hey, we got her done, everybody. All right, we will toss it to the Trail Running Shoe Matrix. Trail Running Shoe Matrix, right there, right there, right there. Onward and upward. All right. Keep turning that doorknob just like Brett. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you two tomorrow.